So refractory metastatic colorectal cancer is essentially a group of patients who have had, I guess, what we call standard chemotherapy uh, or biologic therapy. So there are three main chemotherapy drugs and then two molecular class uh, drugs that we would use for metastatic colorectal cancer. And then those patients beyond that, once they've had those therapies, I guess would be what we'd define as refractory colorectal cancer. So it, uh, in terms of the number of patients who are in that refractory colorectal cancer group, um, it is an increasing uh, group of patients uh, who are well enough once they have completed the, the uh, five drugs, I guess, that I alluded to before, uh, who are then seeking alternate options, uh, whether that be further chemotherapy or further clinical trials, for example, which become very important in this patient population. So it's a, it's a significant group of patients. In terms of curing uh, late stage colorectal cancer, essentially these, uh, the agents that we have available aimed at control, so controlling the disease, uh, improving uh, the time to, um, I guess, further activity of the disease, and with that, hopefully, uh, prolonging quality of life. So, not able to cure, no. So, so why is AJTG or the uh, Institute's work important? Well, in the setting of uh, refractory colorectal cancer, of course, I mean, uh, the group uh, looks to seek out clinical trials that are relevant and accessible to patients in that group. I mean, overall for, for colorectal cancer or GI cancer, obviously it, it does uh, relate to clinical trials, access to new drugs. And then of course the Institute uh, talks to patient information, um, advocacy to a degree to uh, hopefully translate the trial outcomes into actual drug access for patients and improvement in patient outcomes and and, and, and what follows from that. So it, it's primarily focusing on clinical trials, but it's then the access and the improvements in patient care, which I guess follows.